<laughs> What's up guys? Uh, Jeff's Caddyshack. Today we're going to cover um, how to install your intake gaskets on your Cadrone carburetors. So basically we have a set of, we have a head here, cylinder head. You're going to, you know, you're going to put the manifold on. This is a ported head. So we've got a ported gasket and matches it ex exactly. And we're going to install this gasket on the carburetor and show you how, what to do, what not to do. Um, a couple things real quick first. What we use is gasket cinch. Okay. Don't use silicone. Don't use wood putty. <laughs> don't use whatever else. Use gasket cinch. You've got to kind of, here, let me get a towel. This one's kind of low in the bottle, so it's a little thicker than normally it would be. So I'm just going to kind of wipe it down a little bit there. Gasket cinch, just a nice little layer, a little spider web right there, right? Around the intake. Okay. Normally I'd use a gasket first, and there's a reason for that, but... We did a gasket here. I laid a piece of cardboard down because this stuff will just get sticky and dumb, you know. Um, you put it on a little thicker on the gasket itself. Check it out. Cool. Then you gotta let it dry. You gotta let it set up and tack. Okay, so once it tacks and it gets, it, you'll see the color change on it. Um, it'll stick better and it'll adhere. So I want to show you that this is one of the one I've done already. So we've stuck the gasket on it. Okay. Now it's important. Oh shoot! I threw. Well, we'll do it in a minute. I threw it away. Um, when you when we install the gasket on this one, okay, I take a razor blade. Whatever here. And I scrape all the edge off of this, like that, you know, go right up against the edge of it. Eh, you could probably get a little more out of that, mm -hmm. right there, that spot, anyway. And um, what that does is, keeps the gasket from hanging off, it's like hanging on the tin, when it goes in, on the engine tin, and it won't get stuck or whatever. Once this is all done, you're cleaned up, you're ready to go, it's glued, it's dried and everything. This is the magic ingredient right here. Chapstick, right? I'm gonna put chapstick all on the bottom of this dude. So you can see a uniform color. If you get a little piece like that, smooth it in somewhere else. Don't ever hurt anything that goes in your engine. Right? Now, almost done. Yeah, sort of, right? Sort of, kind of. Ooh, it's cherry flavored, man. It smells pretty good. <laughs> the reason we do this is when you put this on the cylinder head now, right? It's glued on this side. There's chapstick on the other side. When you put it on the cylinder head, right? This is tight, and it's meant to be. It's really tight. Anyway, you put it on the cylinder head. <laughs> And it, when you peel it back off after several cycles of the engine, it's going to be able to just come right off the head. It's going to stick to the manifold. Because there's nothing worse, guys, than you guys goober up your intake gaskets with silicone and everything else. And you got to get in there with a screwdriver and a brush and whatever else to try to get that out of there. Like, this stays on the head. Dude, I've taken these on and off of the blue car for, like, I don't know six, eight times, you don't have to change a gasket. Just torque it back on, it's done. That's the way to do it. Anyway, look at the colors changed on this. All right? You can probably see it. Nice and light now. That thing's all dry. Get it. Over there. Set it down. Place it just right so it covers the ports just right. That's what the blue towels were, huh? Smash it down. Put 
right? Ready for the chaps if you can. And that's it, dudes. That's it. That's how you do your gaskets. Thanks for watching.